According to the industry and OSHA data, backing represents approximately 25% of all injuries and accidents in the solid waste collection industry. Unfortunately, here at Action, we have had a number of accidents that were caused by unsafe backing. Unsafe backing practices can lead to property damage and potential injury to yourself and or pedestrians. If you do find yourself in a situation where you need to back up, just remember the following. Never back up further than you have to. It creates unnecessary risk factors. Check the backing area before backing up to ensure that the area is clear of any obstructions. And always, remember the word goal. Get out and look. The driver or the helper should always get out of the truck and look to assess the backing area before backing. Never back up without the use of a helper. Sanitation trucks are huge and even with the assistance of mirrors and backup cameras, blind spots can lead to accidents. You should always use the aid of a helper when backing as an extra set of eyes. The helper that is backing the truck should be checking height clearances and obstacles that could possibly be struck on either side of the truck. The helper should be positioned no more than 10 to 15 feet behind the truck on the passenger side facing the rear of the truck so he could be seen properly in the mirror. The helper backing the truck should have his body at a 45 degree angle in relation to the truck so to increase his range of vision. The helper should never turn his back to the truck. When backing into an enclosed area, the helper should never stand between the truck and a wall. Once the backing area is determined to be safe, the helper can now direct the driver in reverse. Using the correct hand signals, the helper will safely aid the driver in the backing of the truck. Let's review the proper hand signals to use when backing a truck. When backing, you can never be too clear with your hand signals. Never use one hand when backing. It could be confusing to the driver. So it's perfectly clear to the driver, the helper should always use both hands when directing a truck that is backing up. For positioning the truck to the right, the helper should extend the right arm and wave the driver on with the left to signify to the driver it is safe to begin backing. If his hand was not moving, the driver should not back up. The same applies when positioning the truck to the left. The helper should extend the left arm and wave the driver on with the right so the driver can proceed slowly. When stopping a vehicle, the proper procedure is to cross both hands over your head in an X. This is very important so the driver has a clear view of what you're communicating. In the event of a quick emergency stop, the helper should wave their hands over their head, signaling to the driver to stop immediately. In the event the truck has two helpers, one helper should secure vehicle and pedestrian traffic as the other directs the truck. Remember, backing represents approximately 25% of all injuries and accidents in the solid waste collection industry. It's our job to make sure we follow the proper backing procedures to keep everyone safe.